who can know and can expect today. At sino po yung nagpunta ngayon na merong expectations mula sa Panginoon? Amen! Sige po, bumalak pa po ang may hinihintay. Sa mga may hinihintay, meron po kayong mapapala. Amen! Praise God! Samahan niyo po ako sa isang maiksing panalangin po para po sa ating pakikinig ng salita ng Diyos. Thank you, Jesus. Let us pray. Let's pray, Paul. Let's bow our heads in prayer. May I ask everyone to give respect to this moment of prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Panginoon, naman namin makapangyarihan sa lahat. Nagpapasalamat kami, Lord, na narito na naman kami may pagkakataon na makinig na iyong salita. Narito kami, walang karamdaman, nakakatayo, nakakakilos, nakakaunawa, nakakalakad, nakakagalaw. Salamat, Panginoon. At sa aming pakikinig ng iyong salita, nawa lahat kami ay mabiyayaan ng pangunawa. Open our spiritual ears, eyes, minds, hearts. Speak to our inner man, Holy Spirit of the living God. At hayaan niyo po na maintindihan namin at matanggap ang katotohanan mula sa inyong salita because only the truth will set us free. Thank you, Lord. Be glorified in our midst. In Jesus' name. Amen. amen. And amen. Praise God. I'm wishing that all Filipinos would have the chance to listen to this message. This is a very simple but necessary. Ito po ay must na matutunan, na malaman ng lahat ng tao sa buong sanlibutan. At ang topic po natin na ito na sinasabi ko na dapat malaman ay pinamagatan pong God answers prayers. Sino po sa inyo naniniwala na ang Diyos ay sumasagot ng pangalaman? Praise God. Sino sa inyo ang nananalangin pero hindi nag-expect ng sagot? Amen. <laughs> Doon po sa dati ko pong pinanggalingan na simbahan, pray ng pray yung mga tao ay di nila naitindihan yung na may memorya ng prayer. But they never really expected God to answer. Pero hindi naman po lahat ganun. Meron din ako mga kasama doon sa dating simbahan na marunong din silang mag-pray from the heart at naghihintay ng sagot ng Lord. At yan po ang tama dahil He really answers prayers. Merong something. Okay, let's go straight to our text for today. Jeremiah 33 verse 3 sabi po dito, Call to me and I will answer you show you great and mighty things which you do not know. Tumawag ka sa akin at ikaw ay aking sasagutin at ipapakita ko sa iyo ang mga malalaki grande ng mga bagay makapangyarihang bagay na hindi mo pa alam. Isn't that exciting? Yeah. Na kapag tumawag ka raw sa Diyos, pag tumawag ka sa Diyos, ay sasagutin ka ng Diyos. Yeah. Hindi lang po nakasabit sa kisame, hindi lang na labas mo. Some people pray just because they want to let it out of their system. But when you are a Bible student, when you are a Bible-believing Christian, You know that the Word of God says, when you ask, He will answer. Amen. Ask, and you shall receive. receive. Seek, 
and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened. We pray because God commanded us to pray. We pray because we know God in His infinite wisdom. We pray because we know that He knows what's best for us. We pray because Jesus Himself set an example. And we pray because we want to communicate and be intimate with God. Sa madaling salita, napakahalaga ng padalangin. Prayer is very important. It is in fact our spiritual breath. Sabihin nga natin, spiritual, spiritual breath. breath. Yan ang ating hininga. Yan ang hininga, breath of our spirit. If you do not pray, you will not live spiritually. Amen. Tell your neighbor, you have to pray. Have to pray. Because prayer, prayer is our spiritual breath. Our inner man, our spirit man cannot survive without prayer. Amen. Kaya inutos ito ng Diyos. That is why God commanded us to pray. Because He wants to bless us. Amen. He wants us to be spiritually alive. Amen. And you know, when God asks you to do something, it is always for your benefit. Amen. When God wants you to do something, hindi yung trip-trip lang ni Lord. Hindi yung kapritsyo lang. Or, or just because gusto lang niya. Or just because he wants to have fun looking at you as you kneel down and ask for his help, begging him for mercy, etc., etc. He asked us to pray to bless us. He asked us to pray to for us to benefit from prayer. So, what kind of prayers does God answer? Number one, he answers prayers done in Jesus' name. In John 14, verses 13 to 14, sabi dito, whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Verse 14, if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Ask anything in Jesus' name. Any Filipino, who knows the name of the president of the Philippines would have power to ask for things from people if they come to people and say, President Bongbong Marcos sent me to you to ask for your donkey or your whatever. I think because of the name that's used, You'll have no choice but to give up what's being asked of you or from you. Example, in your family, there is somebody who is respected and treated like the topmost authority. If the siblings would fight and someone comes and says, Oy, tumigil na kayo. Sabi ng nanay nyo, magtigil na kayo. If nanay is important to you, titigil kayo sa pag-aaway alang-alang kay nanay. Amen. The father loves the son. When we come to him and say, Father in heaven, I ask in Jesus' name. Naku po, mabilis pa sa alas 4. And not only because he loves the son, but because Itong son na ito, Jesus Christ, already paid for the punishment of our sins that were previously, sins that were previously served, they served as blockades, barriers sa mga panalangin previously. But because Jesus paid, our punishment was laid upon Him. <coughs> Every time we pray in His name, He will answer. The second prayer that He answers, God answers, 
is a prayer done with faith. Kapag nananalangin tayo ng may pananampalataya, sasagutin tayo ng Diyos. Sabi sa Mark 11.24, When you pray, believe that you receive it. Whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them. And you will have them. You do not pray and not believe. That will be a waste of time. Tell your neighbor, it will be a waste of time. If you doubt, if you do not believe, if you find it in your heart difficult to believe, it will be a waste of your energy. Might as well not pray if you cannot believe that God will answer. When you pray, look at me, when you pray, believe because those who believe will receive. Amen. When you pray, believe that you receive them Amen. and you will have them. Matthew 21, 22, lahat ng panalangin na pinapanalangin natin ng may pananampalataya, whatever things you ask in prayer, believing you will receive. It's not very difficult. It's not hard to understand. You need to have faith. You need to believe. You need to know and believe in your heart that God is able to answer. God is able to satisfy the longings of your heart. God is able to deliver the things that you need. God is able to provide. God is able to heal. If you believe that, He will answer. Amen. 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 Yan po ang mga panalangin na sinasagot ng Diyos. Number one, prayers done in Jesus' name. Number two, prayers done with faith. Number three, sa puri ng panalangin, isa pang puri ng panalangin, by the way, itong aking mga binanggit, hindi po ito yung uh, summary ng lahat ng conditions paano sumagot ang Diyos. I'm just giving you at least three, three conditions. Ano ang mga panalangin? What kind of prayers God answers? So number three, prayers done in alignment with God's will. Kapag humihingi ka ng bagay in alignment, naka-align sa kalooban ng Diyos, tiyak sasagutin ka. Kalooban ng Diyos na kakain ng mga anak mo. Huwag kang mag-isip na ang Diyos ay kalaban mo. Kalooban ng Diyos na maging maayos ang pamilya mo. Kalooban ng Diyos na ikaw ay healthy. Kalooban ng Diyos na ang kapatid mo, ang anak mo, ang asawa mo, ang magulang mo ay healthy. Kalooban ng Diyos na ang mga anak mo na nag-aaral ay ligtas, labas-pasok ng bahay, ligtas. It is God's will for you to earn money to provide for your family. It is God's will for you to have love within the family. It is God's will for you to enjoy good health. Every prayer aligned with these items na binanggit ko, God is bound to answer. Dahil ang sabi sa, sa 1 John 5 verses 14 and 15. Now this is the confidence that we have in Him. If we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. Verse 15. If we know that He hears us, whatever we ask. Sabihin nga po natin, let's say whatever. Whatever. Lahat daw, kahit ano, whatever we ask, we know that we have Nasa atin na, we have the petitions that we have asked of Him. Amen. Kamag-anak po ito ng Mark 11.24. Kapag tayo po ay nananalangin ng ayon sa kanyang kalooban, ang kanyang sagot ay nasa atin. Amen. Amen. So ulitin ko lang po. The kind of prayers that God answers, number one, prayers done in Jesus' name. Number two, prayers done in and with faith. Number three, prayers done in alignment with God's will. Okay, let's move forward. 
when does God answer prayers? Kailan sasagot? When? When? Tomorrow, today, yesterday, next year, when? When? When does God answer prayers? God has His own calendar. In God's calendar, He knows the perfect time to answer your prayers. If we take a look at Galatians chapter 4, verse 4, and this was about the coming of the Messiah, the coming of the Son of God. Ang sabi po dito, when the fullness of the time had come, nung dumating na po ang, ang fullness of time, ibig sabihin, mayroong specific date, mayroong fullness, sapat na na panahon na darating ang sagot. So when you're praying for something and you haven't received it even after months and months of praying, it means that it is not yet the fullness of time. Amen. God has His calendar and in that calendar God is always thinking for your benefit. Amen. To benefit you. Amen. And even in Galatians 6.9 talking about, you know, when we do good things to others. Ang sabi po dito, in perfect time, at the right time, in due season, we shall reap. Let us not grow weary of doing good for in due season. So yung dalawang phrases na yun, dalawang statements na yun, God will answer you in the fullness of time. God will answer you dito po sa panahon na tayo ay due season na. Due. Di ba? Pag may ba when you owe money or you owe bills, you need to pay. There's a due date. Due date. Due dates are supposed to be followed. If you are a worker, if you if you work in an office and you need to submit something, merong due date. If you're a student and you need to, to, to submit something to your lecturer, there's a due date. And that due date has to happen. Amen. You cannot choose. It is due date. So your answers will come in God's due season. Amen. In other words, God's timing is always perfect. God, God's timing is always right. God's timing is always due time. God's timing is always the fullness of time. So if you are a person who is always talking to God, because last week we talked about how prayer is communicating with God. If you are always in communication with God, you will be sensitive to His moving, to His urgings in your heart, to His promptings. You will be sensitive to His messages. Kahit na wala kang naririnig na, na boses, the audible voice, you would just know in your heart, the Spirit will attest. The Spirit will witness Amen. to your heart. Amen. And you will know, hindi pa ito ang panahon para sagutin ako ng Diyos. And you will just have to wait. Okay. Uh, punta tayo sa how does God answer prayers? Paano? Paano siya sumasagot? He answers by providing. So sinasabi niya, yes. Sabihin natin, provision. Provision. Means yes. Means yes. Means? 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 Means. Yes. yes. That's one way of answering you. Number two, how does God answer prayers? Number two, by processing you, pinaprocess ka niya. Itadaan ka niya sa proseso. Put your hand, right hand on your chest, on your heart. Sabihan mo, sabihin mo, kalma ka lang. Hintay ka lang. Pinaproseso ka pa ng Diyos. So if you have a prayer, if you have a dream, an ambition, a desire for your family or for yourself, that you've been asking God for for, for many years already. And it, well, the thing hasn't been delivered to you. Tandaan mong pinaproseso ka lang. So when God processes you, you'll have to wait. 
Wait. Hintay lang. Alam niyo, marami dito. Palagay ko, mga kaklasik po doon sa School of Patience. Tayo po yung mga nagbumagsak sa exam ng patience. At tayo po ang first honor sa impatience. But you cannot force God to change His timing because if you force, you impose your timing, that will not be the best for you. Amen. Ano, ganun ba yun? Amen. Nagpipilit na kasing mag-asawa, hindi pa naman pala dapat. <laughs> Or nagpipilit na pumunta sa ibang bansa, nasa ibang bansa ka na nga. Nasa Singapore ka na, gusto mo pa rin magpunta sa ibang bansa at akurado ka pa. Amen. Hindi mo alam, pilong proseso ka dito pa nga lang sa Singapore, hindi ka na mahawakan ng Diyos. Paano pag nandun ka pa sa mas maaluan na bansa? You have to be patient. If you're a driver, if you drive, you have to be patient. Wait for your turn. You cannot just go in and out of, you know, the, the, the road and cut people off and, and just do anything because you are so impatient. You're looking at the traffic line and you can't wait for it to turn green. Kaya tumakbo kay yellow pa lang bago mag-green. Buti nga sa'yo nahuli ka. Picture perfect. There's time for everything. You have to wait. Because when there is a waiting time, there is a processing time. When you are praying for something, and you are waiting for the answer, it means God is maybe processing you or your family. Maybe you are already cooked enough for you to receive the blessing but because your blessing will affect your family God will have to process your family as well hanggat hindi nawawala ang mga lastog hanggat hindi nawawala ang mga pride sa pamilya napipigilan ng ibang answers to prayers kasi yung mga kapamilya mo ang yayabang you have to understand that when you pray for something and God makes you wait, it is because He wants you to receive it in a position na hindi ka na ikokorak ng pagpapala. Because some blessings would break you if you are not careful. If you do not submit to the processing of God during the waiting season, you will not be prepared for the enormity of the blessing. Because blessings, well, for some people, they, they believe that blessings, they just bring good things. No, no, no. They bring also responsibilities Amen. and accountability. Because the more you have, the more you should give. Amen. So kapag hindi ka pa natutong magbigay, <laughs> pag hindi ka pa natutong magbigay, ang hinihingi mo malaking pera, Neng, pinaproseso ka pa ng Diyos. But when you begin to consider, maging generous kaya ako, mas napapaiksi ang waiting time ng increase ng salary. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So He answers by providing and He says yes. He answers by processing and He says wait. And He answers by protecting you. By saying no. Bakit siya nagsisay no? Because he wants to protect you. Anak, hindi ito. You might think that this is the best for you. But because God knows. God is omniscient. He knows all things. He knows everything. Amen. There are things you ask that he would never ever give you even if maglupasay ka sa sahig at mamula ka, magblu, mamula, magblu, mamula hanggang sa naubusan ka na ng luha kahit anong gawin mo may mga bagay na i-withhold talaga ni God from you because he wants to protect you Amen, Amen. So when he wants to say yes, he will provide When He wants to process you first, He will ask you to wait. When He wants to protect you, you will have to say no. And that is sweet test. Bakit? Kapag sinabi ni Lord na no, He has something better for you. Amen! Kapag sinabi ni Lord, ang isang answer sa isang panalami, 
it, it means there's something better coming up. Amen. So why does God answer prayers? Bakit sumasagot ang Diyos sa mga panalangin? Number one, dahil nga sa humihingi tayo, we ask. And you know, promise me, when we ask, we receive. Also, God answers prayers because He is good. He is kind. He is merciful. He is faithful. Loving. He is generous. Amen. Amen. God answers prayers because He is able. Amen. Sabi sa Ephesians 3.20 He is able to do exceeding abundantly beyond all you could ever ask, think, or pray according to the power that is at work in us. He is able. Amen. God is super powerful. Supra, super powerful. Beyond words. You cannot describe the way God is powerful. It's beyond. The power of God is beyond our ability to understand. Amen. Amen. God answers prayers because He is able to answer prayers. God answers prayers because He wants to bless us. God answers prayers because He rewards faith. Kapag may pangako siya at tayo ay nanampalataya, di ba sabi niya, ask anything in my name. And then, ask in faith. Kapag nang hindi tayo, in faith, He will answer our prayers. Also, He will answer our prayers when we obey. Amen? Amen. Ilang beses na natin pinag-usapan ang Deuteronomy chapter 28. It's actually, verses 1 to 14, it's actually one of my most favorite passages. Itong sinasabi ko sa inyo, very simple. I hope that you are listening because this might just change the entire course of your life. Because when you live not knowing that God answers prayers, yes, you will pray, but you will always pray like a blind man, like a shadow boxer. You know what a shadow boxer is? Someone who boxes against his own shadow. Hindi mo tatamaan. Hindi mo tatamaan yung own shadow mo, di ba? Parang bata, may bata, nakita ko sa, sa TikTok. Yes, nagtitiktok din ako. <laughs> Pinitili ang pinapanood. May mga bata, nakita ko, galit na galit sila doon sa shadow nila. <laughs> when you pray, and you don't have the knowledge about God and who God is, and the power of God, and, and the way God answers prayers, para ka lang sa shadow boxing men. Hindi mo alam. So it's good to know na ang Diyos ay sumasagot ng panalangin. Amen. Do you believe that? Amen. God answers prayers. So now, because you heard dito sa Horizon Church and Ministries, you heard na ang Diyos pala ay sumasagot ng panalangin. What then should you do? Pray. Pray. Ano po? Pray! Kulang pa. Pray! Ito. What will you do? Pray! Praise God. Now that you know that God does answer prayers, sayang if you do not take the opportunity to experience receiving His answers. Wherever you are, whoever you are, whatever you've been through, I'm not sure about your problems. I, I don't know. I'm not really familiar with, with your, your family setup or your needs. I'm not, I don't know. I, I don't have any knowledge about your financial condition. But this one thing I know, and I'm going to tell you this. The Word of God is true. God answers prayers. Hindi po pwedeng Sinabi ng Diyos at ganun lang. So if God answers prayers, then we should pray that we may experience receiving His answers. Sabi po sa James chapter 4, verse 2, may mga bagay, letter B, may mga bagay na hindi natin natatanggap 
because hindi tayo humihiti. Sabi dito, you last, naghahangat ka, and do not hang. Pumatay ka na, nag-covet ka na, and, but you still cannot obtain. Bakit? Hindi ka nag-pray. Amen. Isipin mo, ano ibig sabihin ng you last? Ibig sabihin you, yung pinagdanasaan mo. May mga bagay na pinagnanasaan mo. There are things that you lost after. You want. You desire for such things. You could even commit murder. I mean, you could even be covetous and do all things you, you, you know that you have to do, but you still cannot obtain the things that you want or need. And you fight and you war. Nakikipag-away ka na. Galit ka na, grabe ka na, lahat ginawa mo na. Still, you cannot get the thing because you have not asked. Amen. Because you have not prayed. Mag-pray. Pastora, hindi po ako marunong mag-pray. Ang dal-dal-dal-dal mo eh. Ang dami mong nasasabi sa kaaway mo. Sa Facebook. The same words. The same ability to talk to relatives, to friends. This is the same ability you need to speak with God. Amen. All you need to do is pour. Just pour your heart out to Him. You don't have to learn special formula. Hindi naman rocket science ang pananalangin. All you need to do is humility. Maling yung sinabi ko, all you need to do is humility. All you need to do is have humility. Have repentance. Have admission, acknowledgement that apart from Him, you cannot do anything. Amen. Kung wala tayong magagawa, hiwalay sa Kanya. At wala tayong mapapala kung hindi tayo hindi. Wala tayong ma-receive kung hindi tayo mananalangin. Now, let me ask you this. What's stopping you from praying? What's hindering you? Why are you still not praying? Samantala, God answers prayers. A couple of months ago, I think I mentioned at this pulpit that for those who do not know how to pray verbally, you could buy a notebook and designate that notebook as your prayer notebook. And if you do not know how to pray, just write, Lord, in Jesus' name, these are the things that I am asking from you. Number one, number two, number three, number four. Siguro naman, doable na yan. Amen. Siguro naman, pwede mo na gawin yan. Amen. Isulat po. Number one, Lord, bumahit na po yung aking budso. Number two, bumahit na rin yung asawa ko na sumakabilang bahay. Bumalik na po sa kanyang sariling bahay. Number three, Lord, mag-aral mabuti yung aking pangalawang anak na naliligaw ng lada. Number, number four, mag-increase ang sahod ko. Number five, huwag na po ako mapagalitan ng madam ko. Pero yung number five, kung napapagalitan ka dahil nahuhuli ka lagi yung nagtitiktok, hindi, hindi sasagutin yun, papagalitan ka pa rin ng madam mo. Kasi malik ka. Amen. So, papagsakyan doon sa kapag kalooban ng Diyos, if God's will is being prayed for, you are praying in alignment with God's will, sasagutin ka ng Diyos. Amen. Amen. So, madalangin tayo. At kararag tayo. Amen. Na blessing pagka magpapagpapag magpray. Amen. Pagpapag at madalangin. Amen. At hindi na magpapagpo. Maraming pagpapala naghihintay sa atin kung marunong tayong manalangin. Amen. Naghan kaayo ang mga naghulat ng mga panalangin. Maraming naghihintay. I wish I could say it in Chinese. <laughs> Prayer is a great blessing. 
It is our ticket to a miraculous, supernatural life. Sabihin nga natin, miraculous. Miraculous. Supernatural. Beyond human. Ibig sabihin, ang panalangin ko, ang inyong ticket or susi, patungo sa buhay kung saan mararanasan ninyo ang mga bagay na hindi ninyo alam. Yung sabi ng ating binasang text, Call unto me, and I will answer you, and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. Kapag ang mga bagay na hinihingi natin ay mga bagay na hindi pa natin alam, tumawag lang tayo sa Lord at Diyo nang ipapakita niya sa atin. Again, remember it, we cannot spiritually survive without prayer. Now, question. What if we really don't know how to pray? L let me pray for you para maturuan ka ng Holy Spirit. Amen. Yung po mga hindi, gusto nilang matutong mag-pray, gusto nilang makapagsimula na sila yung magiging prayerful, kindly stand up. Oh, sige po, para hindi po mahihiya yung iba, tibayo po tayo na. Sorry po, sorry. I think mali po yun, mali. Kasi syempre, mahihiya naman sila. We're not here to embarrass people. We are here to bless people. So, i-pretend natin na tayong lahat ay nangangailangan na matutong manalangin. Because sayang, it's always it's such a waste if we don't pray knowing that God answers prayers. Amen? Amen. Sige po. Let's bow our heads. And I will pray for you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.